Hey folks, Jason Dukes, Dirt Race Life. So this is a quick tip video about how to make an inexpensive and simple body brace that works using only spring steel and a masonry bit. And that's it. Y'all check this out. So I'm putting, putting some new skins on my Camaro and I thought I might would share a little bit about how I go about doing these body braces. So this body brace right here, and I'll show you, this is two, but here I've got a, a piece cut. So this right here is just flat spring steel. And the, what I use, now they sell this, you can go to any, any race, uh, any race parts place. Uh, typically they'll have a roll of spring steel uh, now to use these. And, when you're doing this, uh, it's a wider, this is a three quarter inch piece of spring steel, but like if you bought, like say from All Star, uh, if you have an All Star dealer, I think that's gonna be like a one inch. And this, I can get in supply, this three quarter, I can just get it on the market because that's what fish tape is like plumbers use. And so it's a little bit thinner, a little weaker. You have to double this uh, more often than you would the one inch like All Star sells. But, uh, but a lot less expensive. So like I think a roll of 100 foot of this stuff cost me like 30 bucks or something. Uh, anyway, but check it out. Let me look down through here. And you can see like for example, this is a piece right here that I've got going across. And the reason you do this is because if I take a hit that bows right there, and I've got another one right here. Um, it's the same deal. And I've actually got a big bow in this right here so that it's got a lot of room to give. This is a doubled piece. And uh, like I said, on the three quarter, I typically will end up doubling everything. And I just take uh, like Gorilla Tape or electrical tape and just, and tape them up there. Uh, but I use these all over the car and they're really simple to make. I get the fish tape in a roll like this. Um, I buy it 100 foot at a time. I think I bought two of these in my life is all. And I've just got tons of these at this point. Because uh, I make them up and as things change or I tear up a body and then I need a different length or whatever. I just, I just make more of them or cut them down. You want to talk about easy? People don't even believe this. This is a $4 uh, quarter inch masonry bit is all it is this is this is the el cheapo cheapest masonry bit that you can get you don't even have to buy an expensive one and what's special about a masonry bit is it has got a carbide inlaid tip and if you were to buy a drill bit that you know was for drilling steel that had this carbide inlaid tip you're going to spend some money but you don't need a drill bit and you're not actually going to cut through this and this is, I think, the flaw that a lot of people make is, is they're trying to buy a drill bit that is expensive enough to actually cut this spring steel. And you don't have to cut it. What you do need is you need a high speed drill press. Um, that, you know, it's got a belt, gears or something that can turn at a very fast rate. It doesn't have to have a lot of horsepower, but it does have to be able to turn fast. And I'll show you, I've got a little tabletop delta here that is like a half horsepower it's got a set of belts on it and i think it'll turn uh 3100 rpms is what it'll is what it'll turn with the belts all the way it's one of those like seven speed jobs and let me get you all right over here and i'm gonna drop you down where you can see exactly what's fixing to happen here and i will do matter of fact i'll do two of these if i'm doubling it I will take, put this in the chop saw, cut the length I need, mark where I want the hole in the end of it, and then I will turn around and I will go ahead and double it and tape it up in the middle. And then I will take and put it in this drill bit, drill press. I'm gonna hold this with a set of pair of pliers here. And y'all watch. This is how easy this is. Will never use a punch again when you see it. Well, if you've got a punch, I mean, obviously you keep using it. But just apply pressure. That carbide.
right through it, right through spring steel. There it is, folks. The thing about it is, you'd say, well, that bit would not last any time. Oh no, I've used this exact bit the entire time through all of the steel. I mean, like I said, that, that carbide inlaid on the end of it, it's just, what you're doing is, is you're just doing a friction, uh, a, a friction melt through. That's all it's doing. And like I said, I'll get a little bit of a cone on the back side, and I will just take that and, uh, and just buff that off in the grinder right quick. And I do it on both ends. And you can make these things up. And I can make these, I guarantee you, I can make these just as fast as somebody with a, with a punch that is punching these holes out. Uh, it's just, it's nothing to it. It's nothing to it. So, you make up plenty of them. Like I said, I use the three quarter inch tape and when I'm down, if I'm doing like just a short little brace, that's like, you know, six inches or something, you know, I don't double them, but I get out. So when I'm out at like say 12 inches or typically a lot of times up my braces will run, you know, anywhere from say 10 to 15 inches for a brace, they need to be doubled for sure, double it. And uh, then I usually just take some Gorilla Tape. Some of these got Gorilla Tape on, some of those got electrical tape, where I'm tying them together. Because what'll happen is, is they'll, if you've got two, they'll separate from each other. I've been looking for some heat shrink tubing um, that I can get that's not specifically racing. And I haven't found one yet that was, um, that I could get on a roll that was really cost effective. And so I just throw tape on them. But heat shrink tubing, if you could find a good source for it, that would be really good. Um, yeah, I've noticed that, like, I've got some really long ones. Like, this one right here is more like, say, 20 or 21 inches. And using the three-quarter inch wide spring steel, you know, if I use this, like, on the right side of the car, like, say, on the rear panel or something, this one's tripled because, you know, I was flexing it more than I wanted to. And so in those cases, like if you went ahead and, and went with like the all-star one inch that's thicker, or you had some other source that was a little bit beefier than what like a, a plumber's tape roll here is, you probably could still go just double instead of triple. But because this source is so inexpensive and it's simple to work with and everything, you know, I'm fine with that. I'll just tape it up. This is a uh, matter of fact, I think this has got Gorilla Tape on it. And I probably made that three or four years ago and I'm still running it. So, a uh, little quick tip. That's the end of this video right here. Um, hope that helps somebody. And if you like what you see here, leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing yours. I bet a few of you already know about this and are doing it. But if you've got another simple way to do it, put it in the comments. Let some, let some other people see what's going on, um, how you can go about making these braces. And subscribe, folks. Thank y'all.